another hot button, button issue, certainly that we've talked about at this table, uh, safety when it comes to social media for our kids. Happening on Capitol Hill right mm. now, a Senate Judiciary Committee hearing with the CEOs from the so-called big five social media companies, TikTok, Meta, among them, which is the parent company of Facebook, mm. and um, Instagram, X, formerly Twitter, as well as Snap and Discord. Senators want to know what these companies are doing mm -hmm. to protect the mental and physical well-being of children and young people online. There you have Senator Dick Durbin. He's the chair of this committee, but he also has introduced a package of bills to try to address a variety of issues with these social media companies. We know the huge impact it's having on mental health for young people. Yeah. There's bullying, kids frequently comparing themselves to the influencers that are making tons of money out there. And also it can turn dangerous. Subway surfing, these videos popping up in the algorithms right. that kids see. Today's hearing is also going to focus on three major issues, child pornography, trafficking and drug sales online. You know, and there are a few things it seems America can agree on and <laughs> our area can agree on, but this is something Definitely. I think everyone is getting behind and, and agreeing to have this conversation. Several of these companies are already named in lawsuits for not doing enough they say not doing enough to prevent harm to young users. While many of these companies say they do have safety policies in place, Congress will likely want and potentially even require them to see those safety policies and then probably ask them to do more. You know, you mentioned people coming together. I mean, this is a time where we're so partisan, right? We're all in yes. our different corners, yep. Republicans, Democrats, even within the Republican and Democratic Party. But Lindsey Graham is also on board with trying to push some movement. And so right. he appeared with Senator Durbin as well, trying to get these companies to be held accountable. Right. It is wild right now. They are some of the most profitable uh, companies in this country, yet there's no oversight. Exactly. And big tech has for so long been so resistant to any of these changes. So while, you know, our elected officials are on the same page, we need to get more of these CEOs on board with this. It's nice to see this small positive sign. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But as some of them have said, this has caused irreparable harm um, on children yeah. and their families. So this is long overdue. Yeah. And I think, you know, it's one of those things that for a long time, everyone thought tech was kind of a mystery. But now I think we've been around it long enough that people understand it. And even people in Washington uh, kind of understand right. what tech is and, yeah. and that it needs some kind of conversation and maybe even some control. Of course, the challenge is always in the details. So they're going to try to hammer something oh, yeah. out. Yep, well, yep, we yep, hope yep. as we move forward, we'll be following that hearing throughout the day.